Okay, guys, let's get into it. Now, this is, uh, I am tired of seeing this whole situation that is surrounding Wendy Williams. And it's sad as hell. It's sad that these people put this lady on TV in this state. All right? Like, it's a part of me feels like they want her to appear to the world, you know, as this person that's just out of it. So, when her ass disappear, nobody won't be concerned, okay? I think they plotting to get rid of her ass. She don't mess with those people money when she decided to leave that show. All this trying to make it seem like, you know, she's a, a junkie. Because that's what they trying to say. She's on drugs. She's an alcoholic. She got dementia. All of these things they're putting out in the world. They preparing you guys for her demise allegedly all right so let's talk about wendy williams publicist sean zanata now wendy william publicist sean zanata recently spoke out against the lifetime documentary about wendy's life now here's my goddamn question who in the hell signed off on this now if y'all is claiming that Wendy Williams is all of these things above. Why in the hell y'all allow her to sign any type of contract agreeing to this? So this is crazy as hell. Did she really sign this? Did she really sign a contract knowing that she's not in the right state of mind? Where was the lawyers? Where was the doctors? Who said, who said this was okay? Who is the people that went to Wendy Williams and said, hey, we want to put a documentary out about you, knowing that she's not stable? Hmm, sounds a little suspect to me. Although she was featured in the series, Zanata says that Wendy Williams would not approve of it and would be mortified if she has seen it herself. What you mean if she's seen it herself? She was that, she... <laughs> Child, this can't be real. This can't be real. After receiving some public scrutiny about her role in the documentary, Zanata told People Magazine she was under the impression that the series will be celebrating Wendy's life and career. Girl, stop goddamn lying. <laughs> if you're her publicist, that means you see her at least two to three times a week. You know her state of mind. We, we don't even see Wendy and we hear all the shit that's going on allegedly about Wendy. You're there with her. So you know what's going on. And you mean to tell me you're acting surprised? Girl, you probably in on it too. Child, I tell you, they say not having money is the root of all evil. The things that people will do to get a dollar. All right. This is pathetic. Zanata said that she would not have participated if she would have known it will portray Wendy in such a horrible light. What do you mean, ma'am? Again, you're with this lady. If you're not with her two to three times a week, you at least talking to her. You know Wendy. You know Wendy before this whole situation started going on with her and her husband. You know how Wendy talk. You can hear in her voice something that's not right. You see her. So don't get on here now and try to make it seem like you did not know this was going on. Man, I'm going to need you in the comments. I need to do an interview with you, ma'am. Now, Miss Zanata said, it's horrible that they would do something like this to her. And for what gain, ma'am? You know what they're trying to gain? Money. That's it. They're trying to gain some damn money. For what reason? Zanata said, I would never let Wendy put her name and brand on the line like that. Ever. She's an icon. Child bye. I believe all of y'all are in cahoots and y'all y'all preparing us for her demise. So when her ass come up dead, I'm gonna say allegedly, they gonna say, Well, y'all saw her, she had dementia. You see, she was drinking, you see, she was back on drugs. Y'all see all of these things. Those people is mad. I believe whoever she had that contract with for that goddamn show, they mad with her ass. Mm. Child bye. These people is upset with her. Wendy Williams cost them a lot of money. So now that she's not returning to the show so they can get their money, they're going to make her look crazy as hell in the public eye. Who in the hell ever heard of somebody, a uh, bank, freezing your damn money? I mean, I don't know. 
Maybe it's a lot of suspicious activities going on with her bank account that will be alarming to the bank. Now, I don't have Wendy Williams money, but I know whenever I make a charge that's like over $2,000, I get an email or a text message, you know, verifying this is me. And maybe it was just a lot of suspicious activities going on with her account. So it was for reason. But now they got a guardian over her money and all. Oh, no, they trying to make her look bad. Y'all drop down in the comments. Let's talk about this whole situation. I am really feeling bad bad for Wendy and what's going on with her but you know I see where a lot of people in the comments are saying that they can't really trust her son because allegedly he was a part of the suspicious activities going on with her bank account it was a lot of swipe to the left swipe to the right so it's a lot going on you know this is sad this is a totally totally sad situation and we need to pray for Wendy and hopefully she gonna get around the right people that's gonna really look out for her all right now y'all let's talk about it who watched the documentary now i did watch a few clips of it because i really didn't want to see her like that i want to remember wendy in the chair talking shit like me like how i be doing sometimes fucking shit making people mad that's how i want to remember her and the clips that I did see was her talking to China. I mean, to Black China. Um, when she was laying in the bed and shit, and the man grabbed the body, tossed it. You, you know, with this man, it shit looks staged. I can't, I can't do it. I can't. Clearly, these people is not for Wendy. That's why so many people, even celebrities, have spoke out about this documentary. This documentary is not showing Wendy in the best light. Y'all, let's talk about this. What do y'all think is the hit in Moda? We already know the money is. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I said I feel like the people who she signed that contract with that um, Wendy Williams show is upset with her because she cost them a lot of money. And I just think they're out to get her. This is just my opinion. And I saw where some people said that maybe it's Diddy. Child, Diddy ain't gotten. <laughs> Diddy better go sit his big butt hip ass down because Diddy, I still love me so goddamn Diddy until he start gaining that weight. But I doubt Diddy have anything to do with what's going on with you know, our girl, Wendy, you know, Diddy got his own shit going on, not to mention his son, Justin Combs is being sued. So Diddy got a lot on his goddamn plate. Diddy don't made a lot of people angry too. And this is why all this shit is happening. Now, I don't know so much about the whole Ill Illuminati situation, but I do believe it's people that help put them on the map. And if you don't do what the hell they say, baby, it's war. But anywho, guys, let's keep Wendy Williams in our prayers. And we just gonna hope that they find a group of people that's going to look out for her. I don't know if it's going to be her family members or somebody else is going to be appointed, but whoever it is, it don't need the people that's over her now because these people are not looking out for her best interests. But that's all I got for this video, guys.